Oh, it's something kids dream about. Heck, I dreamed about it, going to space camp. But for one West Michigan middle school teacher, she was able to live out that childhood dream this summer. She joined just a handful of lucky teachers picked from around the world last month at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Alabama. Now, while it looks like it was a lot of fun, it was also reigniting their passion for STEM, or science, technology, engineering, and math education. So Anastasia Leroy is here with us tonight. She's a teacher at Three Rivers Middle School. Yeah. I can hear all the cheers right oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for coming in tonight. Yeah, thank you for having me. And I love that you're all decked out oh, in your thank flight you. suit. Yes. I so I take it official. this was a souvenir that you got to keep. It was, yeah. Um, Honeywell sponsored for all of us to be able to go when they paid for our flight and wow. put us up in the dorms and food and everything. So How did they pick who got to go? Because it was only, what, mm -hmm. about 200 teachers right. from around the world. Right. who got to do this. Yeah, so um, actually when I started at Three Rivers Middle School, my co-teacher, Stacy Hartman, was like, she went in 2010 and she said, you have to go to this. It is amazing. It is the best professional development you will ever go to. And so I applied for it thinking, there's... What are the chances, Yeah, right? exactly. Like just from Michigan, you know, like not international or anything. And um, I filled it out in the fall of last year and found out in January that I got accepted. Wow. And so, yeah, it that was kind of... That had to be so awesome to even say, yes. oh my goodness, I'm actually going to get to go. So I know everyone yeah. at home yeah. wants to know. Tell, take us there. Tell us about the cool things you got to do. So um, when we get the schedule before we get down there and it's 7 to 7 and you think, well, it's only 12 hours. That's not, you know, that's not that too bad. That can be a long day, though. Yeah, <laughs> but it was definitely... Um, Cool picture. It was packed. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> some of my teammates. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it was just like you went to breakfast, and then after that, it was we did two missions while we were there, and we got to try different things. And some of us got to try the suits on and do the zero gravity. And so you did get to do the zero yes, gravity. Yes, it was. It was. I was very nervous about it. Right. <laughs> But they, do you they get nauseous when you're d when you're done with that though? Because you, you hear know, all these stories about right. people who did the zero gravity, then they get yeah. done and they're sick to their stomachs. Yeah, so you, you would think so, and I I usually am not very good with spinning, and so when <laughs> we did that, they're like, your stomach stays where it is. It just your the rest of your body that's moving. So they strap you in and you just go like you just let go and they it just spins all over and you never spin in the same position twice wow. so it was it was very cool when you come off you're a little little iffy yeah. but you don't you're not sick or anything it's just <laughs> a very cool experience now it sounds like a lot of fun of course you got to do some really cool things mm -hmm. but you're gonna head back to school in the fall how right. do you take this back to your classroom um some of the things that we got to do were really amazing and so like we built rockets and got to launch them which of course like all we've done it before and talked about it about trying to do that in our classrooms mm -hmm. like bottle rockets and whatnot right. and it's just really cool for the kids to be able to do those hands-on activities and a lot of the stuff that they gave us and that we got to do is so easy to implement in our classroom and it's I, i'm excited to get back and try some of this stuff out and um, the one that stuck out to me was we did like an origami mm -hmm. and you don't think like space right. and origami like that doesn't correlate no, but, like, um, but yeah exactly and what do you teach at Three Rivers? I teach sixth grade science okay so it's oh, integrated so, this is perfect. so it's a little bit of everything <laughs> yeah exactly so we can kind of squeeze some space and whatnot in there and a lot of the uh, we're doing a big push this next year for um, really trying to get engineering standard mm -hmm. To get the kids in interested there, so. in that because we need yes. more people in those fields. Right, so exactly. Yeah. Anastasia yeah. Leroy, thank you so much. Thank that you was so awesome. Much for and congratulations me. for getting to go. Yeah, and thank you. I'm sure the kids are looking forward to what oh, you yeah. bring back to the classroom. <laughs> yeah.